My name is Lisa Clark, and I'm the co-president of the International Peace Bureau. Um, I am a, past, a peace activist of a certain age, as you can see from the color of my hair. And I was around in the 1980s when the big movement of European civil society and organizations actually created the conditions which led the leaders to sign off on the end of the Cold War and the, the nuclear disarmament actions. We thought we'd won that and that we'd won that uh, challenge for good. Nowadays, we see that that's not the case. We see that there's modernization. We see that the uh, international architecture of uh, disarmament treaties is totally unraveling. And we are worried. We are correctly worried. The other thing that is happening right now is that, of course, Europe is sort of forgotten. Uh, the crises are in Asia, the crises are global pandemics uh, in the United States, in Latin America, in Africa. But Europe has an important role to play. And Europe has one of the most active and involved civil societies in the world. Let's not forget the important role that Europe's institutions, again stimulated by civil society, carried out in getting the JCPOA, the Iran nuclear deal, off the ground. Uh, that was Europe's doing. So I really think that Europe has a great role to play again in this difficult moment in the world. And civil society is so active and so determined about nuclear disarmament. We, we've done opinion polls with ICANN and with other nuclear disarmament groups. We know that three quarters or more of civil society in Europe is in favor of nuclear disarmament. So this must be the campaign for the nuclear weapon free Europe that we carry out in the next few years, because this will be for the future of the world, for the future of peace in the world. And we can really do something important. The European Parliament uh, has backed us before on these topics and it will back us again. National parliaments are a little bit more difficult to uh, convince, but we can do it. We did it in the eighties. We ended the cold war with something that started from the grassroots level, from the trade unions, the churches, the civil society organizations, the peace activists, all those disarmament conscious groups. So we've got to do that again. And the IPB's Nuclear Weapon Free Europe campaign is just the tool to bring us all back together again and give us new energy to do this for peace in the world once again. Thank you.